So now in this video, we're gonna try to uh, charge the solar generator right here with a USB power bank. Just because I have a number of USB power banks per watt hour, they are cheaper than these solar generators. But unfortunately, these are uh, five volts. These, this particular unit, I think needs 13 volts to actually charge. And uh, so we got 12.5 volts. There is no voltage. So this is a voltage booster. It's taken that five volts and we can get a higher voltage out, but again, the uh, USB power bank is limited to uh, two amps of current, I believe. And so um, we're gonna get less than 10 watts of power. So I'm finding that if I stop turning up the voltage right when we hit 12.7, uh, that's usually when we're gonna get uh, the best uh, wattage coming out there. If I go up uh, too high, it will actually turn off. Let's see if I can uh, set it just a little bit higher so it doesn't go down to 12.6. And uh, the problem though is, I gotta be a little careful. There we go, if uh, you go too high, it auto shuts off. So now the uh, power bank that I'm using here, USB power bank, is I think you would call that Romas right there. It's a 30 amp hour battery. So you can tell that's probably its value um, by the size right there. If it says 30 amp hours, but it's really thin, um, they're probably lying to you, um, be aware of that. But in any case, we got 30 amp hours, that's at 3.6 volts because there's a lithium polymer battery in there. It's not lithium iron phosphate, which works on uh, different voltages. But in uh, any case, uh, it outputs uh, 5 volts, so we have to uh, boost that. You could, uh, for about the same price when it comes to the watt hours, just buy a lithium iron phosphate uh, 12 volt battery. It's actually 12.8 volts, and uh, half the time it's higher than that, um, for about the same price. So that would be more efficient than what we're doing here, but uh, this is just to test out if uh, we have a bunch of these laying around, and uh, there's an emergency or something we want to charge those solar generators. Here is a DC to DC boost converter. So we take a voltage in there and we got the voltage that comes out. So you can see uh, out plus, uh, out minus right there. Red to plus, black to minus. And then I got a barrel plug over here. This is 16 gauge wire right there. These blue terminal blocks I don't think can accept a, uh, this is called a ferrule connector. I don't think it can accept larger than 16 uh, gauge ferrule connectors. You could put a thicker wire in there, but the ferrules make it uh, thicker. But in any case, we got a barrel plug over there. You can see the plus and minus also indicated on there. That is if you, um, there's, uh, I think they're called guitar pedals. Audio Electronics, I know, they uh, re reverse the polarity. So the uh, body here is the negative. It's center positive, positive on the inside. Some other stuff, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's guitar pedals. They have opposite polarity, so that would be wrong for those. But we're not going to worry about that too much. How we're going to connect this is I got a uh, USB plug right there. And uh, on the other end is alligator clips. I bought a number of these especially. And uh, you just put the red where the positive is. So that says in plus. You just uh, connect that. And then uh, the in negative down here or uh, you could find a way to plug them in and screw them down too. And uh, so that uh, says 12.9, 12.8, I haven't adjusted it since we tested it. So I bumped it above that 12.7, obviously, which uh, auto shut it down for some reason with this particular setup. 